Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good to see you. Okay. Thanks. You too. A lot of people are connected. That's great. I'm going to call the attendance now. Asistencia, así que si se escuchan su nombre, por favor, avíseme. Okay, number, today is the 24th. Okay, so number one, Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni. Present teacher. Gonzalez. Thank you. ¿Saben qué? Voy a compartir la pantalla antes de continuar. Si sí, me resulta un poco más fácil. Okay, ahí está. Just a moment. Ok, good. Uh, Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Ok, thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alejand Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Present. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. I'm here. Thank you. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalva. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. I'm here. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ok, voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado por si se han incorporado este rato. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Aquino. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Tell me Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. 
Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok. Los que no han contestado, vamos, para los que no han contestado, perdón, vamos a tomar asistencia al final nuevamente. Teacher, I am here, Consuelo de Salazar. Sí, ya le tomamos asistencia. Aquí está. Ok, ahí. ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. Let's do this. Ok. Um, eso es lo que nos faltaba de ayer. What's in the name? Ok. Take a look. Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Hello, my name is. Por el tiempo, voy a leer esto yo esta vez. Normalmente me gustaría que me ayudaran a leerlo, pero por el tiempo lo voy a leer yo. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, The two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Oscar Mauricio se va conectando. Thank you. Let's continue. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a, from a recent survey. Okay. Si alguien tiene un nombre de esto, ¿verdad? Solamente sepan que es información que aparece en un libro de texto. Sí. Les digo para que nadie diga, están diciendo algo feo de mi nombre. No, ¿verdad? Nada personal y no lo he creado yo. Boys names. George. Average. Promedio. Right? Boring. Dice acá. Jacob. Creative. Creativo. Friendly. Amistoso. Michael. Good looking. Guapo. Right? Athletic. Stanley, nerdy, como decimos acá, nerdo, nerdy, serious, girls' names, petty, old-fashioned, anticuado, average, promedio, Emily, independent, adventurous, aventurosa, o aventado, aventada, Jane, plain, ordinary, what is plain? It's the same as ordinary. Es lo mismo que ordinario, prácticamente. Plain, nothing special. Ordinary. Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. De nuevo, ¿verdad? Estas son opiniones de acuerdo a una encuesta. Nada que ver con la realidad. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. A muchas personas les ponen el mismo nombre que un familiar mayor. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. So what do we have? Read the article and then check the statements that are true. That's the reading exercise. Number one, your name is part of your identity. Volunteer, is this true or false according to the article? Juan Antonio Brand. True. And then, and then Marina, okay, this is true. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Just a moment. Okay, uh, Marina, number two. People often feel the same way about a particular name. Is that true or false? Uh, the microphone, please. <laughs> It's true. It is true, yeah, because people have uh, opinions about those names. Isaac Albonai Tovar. Number three, boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. False, okay, they don't really mention this. That's correct, very good, thank you. Number four, volunteer, please. Number four. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. 
people are often named after family members. It's true too. It's true according to the article. Yes. Thank you. Egg number five, volunteer, please. Oscar Alexander, opinions about names. For me, it's true. It is true, yes, okay, it's mentioned in the article. Thank you. According to the article, which names suggest positive things and which suggest negative things? Complete the chart. Positive names, de acuerdo al artículo, ¿cuáles serían? Aquí pueden ir de chicas y de chicos, combinado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. What are the positive names? Marjorie? Emily. Emily? Uh -huh. Who else? Um, positive? Uh -huh. Yes, all the positives, please. Uh, Nicole. Nicole, yes. Uh -huh. Two more. Um, Jacob. Jacob, very good. One more. Michael. Michael, that's correct. Okay. Jacob, Emily, Michael, and Nicole. Okay, and which names uh, suggest negative things? Okay, uh, vamos a ver. Mr. Brand nos ha participado bastante. Excelente, le agradezco muchísimo. Pero vamos a darle la palabra acá a Blanca Esmeralda. Okay, y luego a Jennifer Nusset también. Negative names. Okay, Blanca Esmeralda. Two negative yeah. names. Stanley. Stanley. Um... De dos o solo uno? All of them. Todos pueden ser ahorita. Ok. Eh, Betty. Betty. Eh, George o Jorge. Ah, George. Ok. Solamente. One more. One more. Ah, ok. Mm, Jane. Jane, that's correct. You have George. Betty, Stanley, and Jane. De acuerdo al artículo, ¿verdad? Pero eso solo es una lectura y nada más. Ok, good. Para que nadie diga ahí, ¿verdad? Yo así le iba a poner a mi hijo a mi hija. Ya no lo voy a poner así. No, solo es un artículo en un libro de inglés. <laughs> ok. All right, here we go. And that's the name of it. There's a couple more exercises here, but we are not going to do them because of the time. Ok, that's... Uh, let me find it. Just a moment, please. So, un instante. Okay, please. And everybody, once again, be welcome to this English Play Intermedio Modulo 1. That's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. And this is session number three. And today's May 24th of 2023. Okay, we start the second part. And what is that? How do you spend your day? Okay, that's the name of the unit. Snapshot, the six worst jobs in the United States. Los seis peores empleos en Estados Unidos basado en estos aspectos, based on salary, stress, number of hours, working conditions, and security. Ok. Tomando en cuenta estos aspectos, ¿verdad? una combinación de todo. Salary, stress, number of hours, working conditions, and security. These are the six worst jobs in the United States. Los seis peores trabajos de Estados Unidos. The first one is fisherman. Ok. Fisherman is the first one. The second one is taxi driver in the United States, in New York. Okay, this is really bad. Cowboy. Cowboy is the third one. The next one is construction worker. Construction worker is, you know, doing this is really hard, very difficult. The next one is dancer. And the last one is Lumberjack. What is a lumberjack? Un leñador. Okay, that's a lumberjack. 
So again, the vocabulary is fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. So these are bad. Fisherman is considered bad. Lumberjack, the worst. Apparently, not a good job. Okay, apparentemente. So, uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario? Oscar Alexander. Uh, what is words? Words. Ah, okay. Take a look. You have, uh, estos son adjetivos, adjectives. Tenemos bad is the base form of the adjective, then you have worse is the comparative, and the worst is the superlative. ¿Qué significa? Este es malo, este es peor, y este es el peor de todos, okay? That's the meaning. Comparative adjectives and superlatives. Este es el grado comparativo y este es el grado superlativo. Comparative form, superlative form. De nuevo, sería bad, malo o mala, Worse, peor, the worst, el peor o lo peor, la peor, okay, etc. Base form, comparative form, superlative form. So, word power, okay, complete the word map with jobs from the list, okay, aquí hay otros empleos que no son malos, verdad, nada que ver. So, you have to complete this. Office work, you have to classify the the occupations or the jobs into the four different categories. The first category is office work. Next, you have travel industry. Then you have food service and then entertainment business. So in the office work, you have company director. Okay, company director is office work. What else is in office work? No pueden elegir dancer, ni flight attendant, ni server, porque ya están ahí, ¿verdad? Miguel Antonio, y luego seguimos con Oscar Alexander, y luego con Catherine Andreina. No bajen la mano mientras no hayan participado para que después no se me olvide quién seguía. Ok, so, uh, let's see. Miguel Antonio. Uh, the officers were uh, website designer. Website designer. Uh -huh. Who else? Um, uh, cashier. 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 Mm, the cashier is in a different type of business. Recep res receptionist. Receptionist. Yeah, receptionist is there and website designer, as you mentioned. Two more. Um, no, no, no. Mm, creo que es. Ay, no, yo creo que solamente es. Por, por lo menos yo sí veo. Okay, no problem. Yeah, that's correct. Solamente eso aparece. Aquí vamos a agregar un par más nosotros. Like secretary, for example, and sales manager. Okay, all those work in an office. So for the next one. También, ¿verdad? I'm sorry? Manager entraría también ahí. Um... Sí. An office work uh, manager, que es como office. gerente. ¿Cómo se dice contador? Teacher. A a accountant. Accountant. It's right there, accountant. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Uh, Oscar Alexander, travel industry. Um, There's the flight attendant, who else? Tour guide. Tour guide and? Um, flight attendant. Uh, flight attendant is the example. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. so um, pilot. Pilot, correct. So there is flight attendant, pilot, and uh, tour guide. They are in the travel industry. Two more people who are in the travel industry are the travel agent, el agente de viajes, and the hotel manager also. Very good, very nice. Thank you. Catherine Andreina, food service. There's the server. Can you mention two more, please? Food service, um, chef. Chef, very good. And? Um, 
Cashier. Cashier. Very good. The cajero or la cajera. And then the chef. Very good. Uh, some other people who are in the food service are dishwasher, for example. El que lava los platos. Okay, the waiter also. Okay, good. And then uh, Marina, Amaya, entertainment business. Okay, there's the dancer. Who else? Permítame, lo que yo quería era hacer una pregunta. Eh, en los do office work, donde dice company director. Eh, company director. Eh, ahí, direct. ¿Se puede mm -hmm. decir ahí principal? Principal es más que todo para instituciones educativas, como colegios, por ejemplo. Ahí sí es el principal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, bueno. Bueno, okay. entonces... Vamos con los... Entertainment ¿no? business. The last one. Website designer. But we use website designer here in office work. So it's mm. different. S singer. Singer is one. Very good. And the other one? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Mus, mus, músico. Musician. M musician. Musician. Musician and musician. singer. Musician. Uh, some other words that we can include here are actor, actress, DJ also is in the entertainment business. Okay. All those people. So you have some vocabulary right here. Everybody, thank you for your participation. Office work. You have company director, receptionist, website designer, secretary, sales manager. In the travel industry, we have the flight attendant, the pilot, tour guide, travel agent, hotel manager. In the food service, we have the server, cashier, chef, dishwasher, and waiter. And in the entertainment business, we have dancer, musician, singer, actor or actress, and DJ. Okay, that's the vocabulary right there. Let's continue. Speaking, work and the workplaces. Oh, give me a second. I'm going to skip this part. Okay, because of the time. Uh, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación acerca de trabajos usando pronombres y ad adverbios interrogativos. So, conversation. Where do you work? I want you to listen to this. Okay, everybody. Me avisan si se escucha, por favor. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Can you hear that? Yes. yes. Thank yes. you. Okay, from the beginning. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, two people talking about their job. Page 9, exercise 4, part... Okay. So uh, I need two volunteers to read this conversation. Somebody, um, Marjorie, you will read Andrea's part and uh, Luis Enrique, uh, you're, you're going to read Jason's part, okay? So um, uh, Luis Enrique, you begin, please. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook, Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great hope. job. I love it. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? 
in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you. That's the name of the restaurant, Hamburger Heaven, as you can see there. Okay. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Al final de esta clase, de la clase, los participantes serán capaces de entender y usar el presente simple. So there's the grammar focus. Take a look, everybody. Simple present, WH questions and statements. Okay. Veamos aquí. ¿Qué le dice? Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what do you do? That's the first question. Take a look. When you say, what do you do? The meaning of this question is, what's your occupation? That's the meaning of that. Siempre que usted le pregunten, what do you do? Es, ¿a qué se dedica? ¿Cuál es su ocupación? What's your occupation? So take a look. When they ask you, what do you do? You have, I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Okay, soy alumno y tengo un trabajo a medio tiempo. Soy estudiante, más bien. Then the question is, where do you work? I work at a, a restaurant or I work in a restaurant. Cualquiera de los dos está bien. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. I go to the University of Texas. Next one. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? Esta es la misma pregunta, solo que con un sujeto diferente. What does she do? Okay, meaning? What's her occupation? Es la misma pregunta. What do you do? Solo que con un sujeto diferente y por lo tanto el auxiliar también cambia. What does she do? What's her occupation? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Okay. Otra pregunta. Parte importante del vocabulario. Veamos aquí. How do you like it? This will be something like. ¿Qué te parece? How does she like it? This is. ¿Qué le parece? A ella. Okay. How do you like it? How does she like it? ¿Cuál es la respuesta acá? She loves it. Le encanta, dice. Su trabajo. So, there you go. Remember this. This is very important, okay? When the subject is I, you, we, or they, you have to use the verb in base form. If the subject is he, she, or it, then you have to use a modified form of the verb. Like works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, and has. Give me a second, please. Long slide. Give me a moment, please. Okay, solo un instante, por favor, y vamos aquí. Okay. So before we do this, 
before we do the exercise, I want you to take a look at this. This is present simple, affirmative form. Como se utiliza? Veamos acá. Remember, you say they read, he likes, I work, etc. That's the present simple tense. Okay. So when you say I, we, you, and they, you use the verb in base form. Read, like, work, live, watch, do, and have. When the subject is he, she, or it, you need to change the verb. Okay. You say reads likes, works, lives, watches, does, has. So remember, he works, she lives, it rains, etc. You have some examples. I work in an office, my brother works in a bank. ¿Por qué lleva esta S acá? ¿Quién me sabe decir? ¿Quién me sabría decir? Marina, then Luis, then Nelson, then Oscar, then Luis, again, then Pablo. Ok, everybody wants to participate. Ok, Marina. Porque se refiere a él, a su hermano. Así es. Al decir my brother, se refiere al sujeto he. Por lo tanto, my brother works in a bank. Ok, thank you, Marina. Veamos. Los... Ok, thank you. Amanda lives in Houston. Her parents live in Chicago. When you say her parents, this is the equivalent of the subject they. Ok, that's why you say her parents live in Chicago. And then you have it rains a lot in the winter. Lleve mucho durante el invierno. So, in the case of the verb have, it changes completely. You say, I have, you have, we have, they have. And for he, she, it, you use has. Very important. For example, John has lunch at home every day. Lucia has two children. You can see it in the picture. Okay, Lucia has two children. Ahora, hay unas reglas para hacer este, esta modificación. These are the spelling rules for present simple. Take a look. Rule number one, you add S to most verbs. Add S to most verbs. For example, you have work becomes works. Live becomes lives. Read becomes reads. So that's the first rule. You just have to add an S to most verbs. Okay, very important. A second. Okay, second rule. You add ES to verbs ending in S, Z, X, SH, CH, or O. Okay? Si el verbo ya termina en S, Z, X, SH, CH, or O, you have to add ES. For example, there's the verb miss. The third person singular form is misses. Fix, fixes. Finish, finishes. Watch, watches. Do, does. And go, goes. Okay? And final rule. If a verb ends in consonant plus Y, you need to change Y to IES. Si termina en una consonante y Y, entonces tiene que cambiar ese Y por IES. Examples, you have study. Study is a verb that ends in consonant D and Y. So the rule is complete. You say studies with IES. Then you have try. Try ends with the consonant R and Y. That's why you change Y for IES, tries. Those are the rules. Esas serían las reglas, ¿verdad? Para esto. Do you have any questions about this? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre las spelling rules? Luis Enrique, do you have a question? No questions. No, 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 no question. 
Okay. All right. So, um, Marjorie. I have a question. Sorry, que no puede activar el micrófono. No problem. Eh, al final, en uh, donde está I, I es, mm -hmm. ¿por qué cambia de la Y a I es? Ah, aquí está la regla, veamos. If a verb ends in consonant and Y, the final combination is consonant and Y, then you change Y to IES. Por ejemplo, tenemos study, termina en la combinación consonante y Y. Consonante D y luego sigue el Y. Cuando sucede eso, hay que cambiar Y por IES. Lo mismo pasa en try, tenemos la combinación final consonante R y luego Y. Por lo tanto, hay que cambiar Y por IES. Pero, ¿qué sucedería si, digamos, tuviésemos un verbo como este? Play. Aquí no se cumple la regla. ¿Por qué? Porque no hay una consonante, sino una vocal antes de Y. So, what do you do? Add S. Only that. Okay. Esa, esa era mi duda allí, Vallegas. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You. You're welcome. Cecilio Antonio. Sí, buenas noches, teacher. Good evening. Este, mi, pregunta, mi pregunta es <clears throat> en la siguiente. Este, ¿Estas reglas son para los verbos regulares o también para irregulares? Para todos Esta los verbos. Esta es una pregunta y, y, y otra, perdón. Mm -hmm. Este es este el empleo de yo y work. Mm -hmm. eh, tal vez me pudiera dar una, la una pista por ahí. La, la diferencia. Tres a dos. Okay. Sí, el, el, el empleo, cuando emplear yo o sí, yo mm -hmm. y work. Ok, no problem. Ahorita vamos. Ok, en respuesta a la primera pregunta, estas reglas en Present Simple son para todos los verbos, ok, ya sean regulares o irregulares. Por ejemplo, tenemos acá el verbo work y el verbo live son regulares, mientras que el verbo read es un verbo irregular. Pero eh, la diferencia entre verbos regulares e irregulares cobra relevancia cuando estamos utilizando el pasado de los verbos o el pasado participio, la forma en pasado participio para otros tiempos verbales. En el caso de Present Simple, eso viene a ser como irrelevante, digámoslo así. Estas reglas aplican a todos los verbos, ya sean regulares o irregulares. Con lo segundo, la diferencia entre job y work. Ok. Primero, job is a noun, es decir, es un sustantivo. Mientras que work... Puede ser un noun, un sustantivo, y puede ser también a verb, un verbo. Ahora, ¿qué es un job? Your job is what you do. Un job es su empleo. A person can have one job, two jobs, three jobs, que puede tener varios empleos. Así que esos son los jobs. Es el empleo que usted tiene. That's a job. También se puede utilizar job para referirse a un trabajo en específico. Si digamos, yo llamo a un carpintero a mi casa porque se le quebró una pata a una de las sillas, entonces eso es un job también. Es un trabajo. ¿Cuál es el trabajo que va a hacer? Arreglarle la patita. Entonces necesito ahí el servicio, digamos, profesional o de oficio de un trabajador. ¿Qué es work? Como noun, work es un poco diferente, ¿verdad? Work es el trabajo, es decir, lo que hay que hacer. Es la carga laboral, eso es work. Entonces yo puedo decir, I have a lot of work. Tengo mucho trabajo. Maybe I can say, I have one job. Tengo un empleo, but I have a lot of work. Tengo mucho trabajo por parte de ese empleo. Ahí, ahí radica la diferencia entre job y work. Y luego está work también, que es un verb, es un verbo, que es trabajar, ¿verdad? Esa es la diferencia más que todo. Marina, María. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. María Magdalena. 
Teacher, las profesiones entrarían en job. Así es. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Correcto. Quiero ver dónde está eso. Uy, aquí lo podemos ver. Si retrocedemos un poco a lo que vimos al principio. Aquí dice, Word Power, complete the word map with jobs from the list. Aquí están las ocupaciones. Jobs. Justo lo que me estaba preguntando. Ok. All right, let's continue. So, uh, your turn. Write these verbs with S or ES. ¿Quién me ayuda acá? You have read, she, what is the correct form? Maria Magdalena. Reads. She reads, okay, that's correct. Idalia Margarita, think. Thinks, la S, he thinks. He thinks, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, give me a second. Okay, then you have uh, fly. I need a volunteer, please. Maria Magdalena. Fly is. How do you spell it? F L E I E S. F L I E S. That's correct. It flies. Very good. Marina Amaya, and then Ada Veronica. Okay, Marina. Dance. Marina Maya. Microphone. Dancer. Dancer. No, dancer is a job. This is un poquito different. Dance. Yeah, then dances. Dance. Dance. Dances, Dance. right? Dances right here. Okay, number five. Ada Veronica have. She has. She has. That's right. Okay, very good. She has. Okay, thank you. Number six. Raise your hand, please. Tell me, Alexandra. Finish. Fíjese que no le entiendo si me está hablando. No. no sé si soy yo, los compañeros me pueden corroborar, pero solo escucho interferencia. Creo que no le funciona el audio. Ah, el audio creo que está mal ahí. Ok, eh, para acá Delmi nos explica en el chat. ¿Puede poner la forma completa en el chat, Delmi, por favor? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Si nos regala la respuesta por el chat, también se la aceptamos. ¿El mí? Bueno, por acá nos dijo, se le agrega S. Sí, así es. Finishes. Ok, good. Thank you, Delmi. Uh, for the next one, number seven, volunteer, please. Stephanie Brendali. I sleep. Sleeps. He sleeps. Okay. Good. Number eight. Uh, Luis Enrique Palma. She lives. She lives. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Ada Veronica Muñoz. Cry. He cries. How do you spell it? Um, C R E A S. Not exactly. So C R I E S. R I S E S. I E S. Okay, C R I E S. Okay, good. Thank you. And the last one, watch volunteer, please. Maria Magdalena. Watches. Watches. He watches. E S. Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. Next exercise, your turn. Complete the sentences about the people in the pictures. You have to use these verbs. The verbs eat, go, live, play, play again, and sleep. Okay, for example, the first one you have, 
my piano. He plays the piano. Para todas van a ocupar he, she, or they. De acuerdo, solo esas tres. He, she, or they. Our house, they say. What about number two? Who can tell me? Luis Enrique. They live in a very big house. They live in a very big house. That's correct. Very good. Thank you, Luis. Number three. Who knows the answer? Raise your hand, please. Idalia. He eats a lot of fruit. Okay, good. But it's a lady. So you say? She eats a lot of fruit. Okay? She eats a lot of fruit. Can you give me a moment, please? Solo me regalan un segundito. Sorry. Okay. Uh, number four. Idalia. Ah, Idalia no había participado. Luis Enrique. Number four, please. He plays tennis. He plays tennis. That's correct. Very good. Number five. They say we love movies. Who knows? Raise your hand, please. Luis Alfredo. And then Isaac Adbonay. Uh, they love to the movies a lot. Uh, but you need to use a verb from the box. Necesito usar un verbo de los que están en el cuadro. They, uh, they go. They go. What is they the form? Go. What is the form of the verb? Go or goes? Goes. Goes. Mm -mm. Goes is the form that you use with he, she, and it only. They go to the movies a lot. They go to the movies a lot. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Isaac, number six. Okay. He sleeps seven hours a night. He sleeps seven hours a night. Okay. Hours nine. Thank you very much. Uh, Marjorie, do you have a question? Or did you want to participate? Okay. One more exercise. Aquí hay un ejercicio más. Veamos. Your turn es muy parecido, solo que esta vez sin dibujitos. Complete the sentences. Use these verbs. You use the verb boil, hervir. Okay. The verb close. Cost. Cost. Like. Like. Meet, open, speak, teach, and wash. So what about number one? Maria, Marjorie, and then Luis. Eh, Maria Magdalena, no sé si me quiere participar o si le quedó la mano levantada. No, así en la primera. Okay, okay. So Maria Magdalena first, then Marjorie, and then Luis, and then Consuelo. So uh, number one. Maria speaks four languages. Maria speaks four languages. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Marjorie, number two. Bank opens at nine in the morning. Can you repeat? Banks? Banks. Mm -hmm. Banks opens at nine in the morning. Opens with an S. Opens. With an S. Yes. Okay. Be careful right here. Vamos a ver acá. Hay una cuestión acá. Si yo digo one bank, este es el equivalente de it. So this is third person singular. Ok. Pero qué pasa si son más de un banco? Yo digo four banks. That's plural. Look. Entonces el equivalente es they. 
This will be third person plural. ¿Qué pasa con they? They no solo es para personas, también es para cosas, si es en plural. Mientras que it sí es exclusivo solo para cosas, ¿verdad? Así que cuando decimos they, nos estamos refiriendo a ellos, ellas pueden ser personas o cosas. Así que hay que tomar eso en consideración. Aquí está en plural. Entonces sería como Marjorie Banks. Open. Open at nine in the morning. Open at nine in the morning. Correct. Okay. Banks open at nine in the morning. Good. Luis Enrique Palma, number three. The art museum uh, closed at five in the afternoon. The art museum, again, please. The art museum mm -hmm. closed at five in the afternoon. Like this. Let me see. The art museum close. Is this the answer? Yes. Okay. Veamos acá. Cuando decimos the art museum, this is one museum. Por lo tanto, es el equivalente de cuál pronoun? It. It. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, the art museum Closes. Closes. Ok. Ok, very good. Thank you. Eh, siempre levantemos la manita para, para participar. Ok. So the art museum closes at five in the afternoon. Porque es un museo, es it. Ok, the art museum closes at five in the afternoon. Uh, thank you, uh, Luis. And the other Luis also. <laughs> Consuelo Enriqueta, number four. Ok, Jessica is a teacher. She teaches math to young children. She teaches math to young children. That's correct. Very good. Idalia Margarita Garcia Cruz, number five. My job is very interesting. I, 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 I like, I, no, them. Oh. Relax. My job is very interesting. I. ¿Qué nos quedaría ahí? Ok, veamos si nos ayuda Catherine Andreina. Ok. Um, my job is very interesting. Uh, I like. Uh, I like a lot of people. Mm, I like different birds, people. sorry. Let's see what Luis Enrique has to say. I meet a lot of people. I meet a lot of people. Yeah, that's right. Okay, my job is very interesting. I meet a lot of people. Yes. Okay. Number six. Volunteers, please. Recuerden que al concluir la participación, podemos bajar la manita para que no se acumulen las manos levantadas en la pantalla. Okay. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Um, my car is always dirty. No sé cómo se pronuncia ahí. Dirty. Dirty. Mm -hmm. He never washes it. He never washes it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. He never washes it. Good. Okay. Great. Uh, the next one, number seven, please. Number seven, Catherine Andreina. Okay, food is expensive. It costs a lot, a lot of money. Food is expensive. It, again, please. 
it, it cost cost like like this it cost is that the answer mm. uh -huh. a cost okay the answer is it costs with an s mm -hmm. it costs a lot of money okay that's right thank you Catherine. luis alfredo number eight shoes are expensive number eight shoes are expensive they cost a lot of money they cost a lot of money okay good thank you number nine please who wants to try raise your hand Luis again. Okay, Luis. Yes, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. That's correct. Very good. Number 10, volunteer, please. Miguel Antonio. Amy, um, I are good friends. I like her. Um, that she likes me. Amy and I are good friends. I like her and she likes me. Okay, that's correct. Very good. Okay, great. Let's take a look at the negative form. Just a moment. Pablo Josue, dígame. Teacher, what's the me boil? Boil, boil means hervir. Thank you. So when you say water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, es que la, el agua hierve a, verdad, 100 grados Celsius. So, very important right there. Solo regal, Ada Verónica, dígame. Mm -hmm. No, oh, sí. Teacher. Dígame. Teacher, a question. Yes. There are some present presentations that are not on platform. They change, or is it something additional to the class? Um, <laughs> se escucha un poco distorsionado el audio, fíjese. No comprendí por completo la pregunta. <laughs> es que está. Eh, La presentación que usted nos da es algo adicional a lo que está en la plataforma. Sí, es adicional. O... Ah, es que a veces Pero... lo puedo y yo encuentro. Ajá, no, no. Ser. Vaya, eh, cada vez que vean esta pantallita gris, ah, ahí. Ajá. con estos dibujos y esto así, eso es adicional. Pero igual, esto ah, okay. se lo voy a compartir por WhatsApp y lo voy a hacer ahorita antes que se olvide. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ahorita se los paso. WhatsApp, ayúdenme a encontrar su nivel. Aquí está por intermedio. All right. Ahí está la primera. And the next one, right here. Me confirman si están recibiendo en el grupo. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Ahí también se quedó atascada la presentación un momento. Ok, ahí va. Les voy a pasar el ejercicio, pero sin resolver para que les quede de práctica. Igual, si quieren la respuesta, ya saben que la clase queda grabada. Ahí pueden ver. Práctica adicional, digámoslo así. Ok. Les... Ya casi vamos terminando. Voy a pasar asistencia por última vez. Nada más voy a llamar a aquellos que no me contestaron la primera vez. Ok. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Está por acá Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you. 
Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Present. Thank you. Siempre, ah, bueno, una observación acá, por favor, para todos. Entremos con nuestro nombre completo, ¿verdad? Como habíamos indicado, no solo un nombre y un apellido. Eh, Luis Palma, dígame. Teacher, I just have a question. What's your question? For any chance, for any chance do you have a list of verbs that you can send us uh, to, to study? A list of verbs? Yep. Where it has the, the, all the, the conversation like uh, present, simple present, uh, past continuous. The thing is, when you say simple present, past continuous, those are verb tenses, not the forms of the verbs. Esos son tiempos verbales, no, no, no se trata de formas de verbo. Si estamos buscando formas de verbo, entonces tendríamos que tener una lista donde aparezca el base form, donde aparezca el to infinitive form, infinitive, tendría que salir el, el uh, past form, past participle, tendría que aparecer el present participle, ok, todas estas formas son las que tendrían que aparecer, y por lo general esas listas no existen, a menos que sean listas de verbos irregulares, ahí sí, porque los verbos irregulares no, no, no siguen las reglas, mientras que los verbos regulares sí tienen un grupo de reglas determinadas que nos ayudan a formar todas estas. Así que si desea encontrar algo así, le recomiendo. Es súper sencillo. Solamente vamos al buscador y podemos poner ahí. Voy a quitar esto, no voy a hacer que <ríe> por el video me salga ahí que está malo. Hay que poner, digamos, eh... List of irregular verbs. Eso es todo. List of irregular verbs y ahí le va a aparecer la forma. Más que todo le va a salir la forma base, la forma en pasado y la forma en past participle. Así se Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, uh, what's next? That's it. We finished the class. Ok. Mañana vamos a hacer todo lo posible por concluir esta segunda parte. Recuerden, según las indicaciones que están en la plataforma, ustedes tendrían que tener completado la sección 1 y la sección 2. Así que si aún no han completado la sección 2, tiene que estar eso ya para mañana. Porque mañana creo que van a enviar. Me pareció haber leído por ahí en los grupos que mañana van a mandar esa información. Así que por favor completan y mañana en la noche pues vamos a completar nosotros vamos a dar ese como repaso ese acompañamiento como siempre ok everybody thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow good night good night teacher good Bye. night see you tomorrow good night teacher good night ok good night